And also I want to ask Nigerians one simple question before I end this video. What do you guys smoke when electing leaders? What do you smoke during elections? What is that illegal stuff that you guys use during elections? Because this is happening because of the choices you make in the ballot. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video finds you well whenever you're watching it from. My name is Ananda Shadrach and I am a YouTuber here in Kilifi, Kenya. If you are new in this channel, kindly consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to give the video a like and also share it to your friends. I want to give my opinion or I want to comment something on what is happening in Sudan. What is happening in Sudan is a war or a civil war between the Rapid Support Forces and the Sudan Military Forces. The Rapid Support Forces is actually trying to overthrow the Sudanese government. And this you should come to your mind that the rapid the Sudanese the current Sudanese government right now took over power in a form of overthrowing a, the former government which was led by Mohammed Al Bashir. Oh sorry, Omar Al Bashir. And it has been in power for three years, right? Yeah, it has been in power for three years. And now the rapid support forces is trying to overthrow the government to bring the, the power back to the civilians because the Sudanese government right now is under the military. And normally when there are such cases of war in a country, it is good that we try to rescue the, our citizens who are living in that country. I know in Sudan there are a lot of foreign citizens who are living there or foreign students who went there for studies. And I want to say thank you to my Kenyan government for rescuing the students who are living in Sudan, who are studying in Sudan. We got it from the news that the Kenyan embassy rescued over 100 students who were stranded in Sudan back to their country, Kenya. We also got it from the news that the Ghanaian, the government of Ghana also rescued students and citizens of Ghana from the Sudanese from the Sudan and back to their country. Also Uganda, students and citizens of Uganda were rescued from Sudan. Also in South Africa, the same case. But this is not the case with Nigeria. We have seen Niger oh, I have come across different, a lot of tweets from Nigerian people complaining on how their government has failed to rescue their citizens and students from Sudan. They have failed. They have not come through to rescue their citizens who are living in Sudan. A lot of citizens and students in Sudan are still stranded in Sudan and the, the, and the university has closed down the institution because of the war. But students of Nigeria are still stranded in Sudan. This is, this is very shameful. And the Nigerian government should be ashamed of itself for doing this. The, term, the 11 buses that took off yesterday, I think three or four of them are stranded in the Sahara. What is the problem? Where is the money? And do you even know what the driver said? The driver said he hasn't been given complete money. Another problem is for those that are now in Khartoum, there is no buses to take them. There is no buses to take them. As promised, there would be 10 buses every day. Not even a bus is there. And they can't even get food. They said yesterday they, someone wanted to go out and get food and he was terribly injured. <laughs> What is going on? Who is supposed to work? We know the federal government, Tabada Kuti, where is the money? Who is responsible? Who are we going to hold responsible? This the buses that took off yesterday are still at the Sahara right now as I'm talking to you. Yeah, we are stuck in this desert for four hours.
there are girls and boys no security what if someone harasses someone they don't even have food no shelter what is going on and the university is saying it wants to close its university that they should please go because it's only nigerian students that are left babu abinci babu ruwan sha inda muke saunan ma yanzu ana kokarin a fita da mu aka ce an ba mu daga yanzu zuwa gobe da safe don girma Allah ku ya kudi ga yan kofa an ja ajje su a sahara drivers sun yi parking tun jiya babu abinci dama don yunwa suka tafi babu abinci babu ruwa so you want to let them die who is responsible we know the government has done its facts we don't want to hear any money problem who is responsible <laughs> that is the truth on the ground and let me know on the comment section below what you think about Nigeria, about the Nigerian government. And also I want to ask Nigerians one simple question before I end this video. What do you guys smoke when electing leaders? What do you smoke during elections? You left out a very good president, a very good person who would change the stories of your country. And all the online community talk that Peter Obi was going to be the president of that country. And whatever happened until Tinubi was announced the president is still not clear in my mind right now. So what do you guys smoke? Or what is that illegal stuff that you guys use during elections? Because this is happening because of the choices you make in the ballot.